What is up guys? Today I am here uh, at my house. I'm going to be showing you an overview of the four rods that I have sitting right next to me as a start to this channel. I have a total of five, but one is used for uh, salt water only. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you these rod and reels now. They are very high quality, um, not cheap. They're pretty expensive. I'd say they're about $300 per rod and reel. So if you're looking for something cheaper, uh, I will have a video for that soon. So yeah, let's get right into it. All right guys, the first reel that I have here is a, this is a Daiwa uh, Fuego LT 3000D-C. This is a spinning reel. Um, the rod that it is on is a St. Croix uh, Medium 6.8. This is my finesse reel. Um, it's got eight pound fluorocarbon on it. Um, we have a Ned Rig with a Shikoshi bug. And this is more for flipping. This is a slow moving rod. You don't want to fish it fast. That's why the gear ratio is a, uh, I think it's a 5.3 on it. So that's why that is like that. Um, and then the rod itself, how long it is, it is a 6.8. So it's a nice rod um, and all these rods over here are all St. Croix rods. So that's, you're going to notice a trend today. Okay. So the next rod and reel I have is a, this is a lose uh, tournament MP Speedful series reel. This one was about $150. Uh, it's a nice little lose reel. Um, I definitely wouldn't recommend their rods, but the reels, I, I would. They're good quality. Um, the rod itself is is a heavy, and this is, now you see a jig on here now, because it's, it's winter time, so. Um, usually what I throw on here is a top water, like a whopper plopper, a frog, a popper, uh, anything like that on this. Um, it does have 50 pound braid on it. So, and the reason you put braid on top water is because uh, braid actually floats. So, um, and a heavy, a heavy uh, rod will help you uh, set the hook uh, stiffer into the fish. Um, if you use a medium heavy on one of these, you uh, you will miss a lot of hook sets. So, if you're gonna throw top water, definitely recommend a heavy rod. Okay, the next uh, reel that I have is this uh, Shimano SLX DC. This was, this is an older one of my reels. I've had this one probably one of the longest out of all of these. And um, what this one does is there's actually a digital chip on the inside and it says digital braking. So um, if you're casting into the wind, it will automatically adjust to the wind so it doesn't bird's nest. Um, it has um, 15 pound fluorocarbon on it. Uh, it's a very, very nice reel for $189. I would highly recommend it. Um, the rod itself is a, this here is a, uh, this is a glass rod actually. This is the newest rod I bought uh, not that long ago. This is designed for the crankbaits because um, it has more flex. So, um, on here is a crankbait itself. This is actually a pretty big one. It's a, uh, a rattle trap. Um, I was just throwing this around earlier. Um, but other than that, this is a very nice combo. Uh, this one was the the rod itself was about uh, 150. So again, all these rods are pretty much above 100. dollars So, um, but a nice reel and rod combo all together. Okay, and the last rod and reel combo that I have here is, this here is a Shimano Corrado DC. This reel runs for about $250, so it's a very high-end reel. Um, this one also has a digital chip on the inside, so it does the same thing as that one. It is digitally operated. So, if you, again, if you're casting it in the wind, it'll adjust to it. Um, yeah, this, this reel is very high quality. You can tell by the um, frame of the reel that is 
definitely durable. The rod itself, this is one of the older ones I had. This is a medium heavy rod. This one, I will pretty much throw anything. And I'm, I'm, I'm gonna suggest a rod for you guys. Go with a seven foot medium heavy. You can throw just about anything on it, anything you want, jerk baits, crank baits, Ned rigs, um, frogs. You can throw pretty much almost everything on it. You know, top water to deeper cranks. Um, this was actually my, uh, this was my first rod and reel here. Um, and I haven't had an issue with it. So all these rods are from St. Croix. So you can actually get, if you buy one of these rods, you can get um, a five year warranty with each one. I actually had this one break right here, sent it back and they gave me a new one for free. All you gotta do is send a picture with an email and you're good to go. They'll ship it out within, you know, two to five days. Um, so I would highly recommend this brand, Shimano Lose. They're great. Um, if you're looking for a good reel, I would suggest any of those. Uh, the spinning reel for the Daiwa is a nice one too. That one ran me about $89. So a spinning reel is of course gonna be cheaper than bait casters, but yeah. So guys, those are the reels, or rods and reels that I use. Uh, they're all very nice. Never had a problem with any one of them. I mean, of course, you're gonna cast in a tree every now and then, so you will lose some line. But other than that, they are great rods and reels. I will have two other people joining me on this channel, as you can tell by the name. Uh, they are not here right now. We're working on it, um, but we'll get them on soon. Um, I will have a video soon about the my hard baits. And then a separate video for my soft baits and then terminal tackle. We'll have separate videos for all that. And then we might do a video for uh, gear like my sunglasses and other stuff like that. And other than that, uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, we'll see you next time and uh, happy fishing.